What's going on YouTube? Enigma Garage is back and we are working with throttle stuff today. So we have our Subaru WRX gas pedal, um, 0 02 to 05-ish. We have our F body throttle, throttle cable, words. Words are hard, you guys already seen me uh, use it over here. It does work just fine. It's hard to do that with one hand. There we go. So, works just fine, but the hole size here and the catch are different size. So, we had to get a step bit, put a little bit of a round chamfer in that, and go up one size on the very small step bit. One with a lot of steps in here. So, went up just a couple notches on it. That's all you need. Don't go up too much or you're gonna pretty much make it bad. So, went up a little bit. I think it was just one step right there. And I'll put it over here and put it together for you. Got it together and you can see the articulation. It's just not good enough because the idle spot is right there. That is taut on the throttle cable. So I need to essentially either bend this part over to where that is and then create a new stop whenever it's fully compacted. Take this little rubber grommet off and maybe put a bolt there or just weld a stud to it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. So that's the plan to get the throttle cable completely working and obviously it does move the throttle. Just fine, but there is a lot of slack in it. So, yep, goal is to figure that out. Everything is clipped in just fine, as you can see, which there that is a little bit loose there, but I was just getting the, uh, the grommet off of it, so I can always put the grommet back on. I just don't know. Should I bend it? Or should I just drill a bigger hole in the firewall, clip this piece into the firewall, and go there? But if I hit the gas pedal too hard, I might start bending the firewall. Yeah, I, I probably need to bend this. Hey, battery's charged. As you can see, the twin turbo truck is gone from the last video still. Need to dispose of the subframe somehow. Truck's outside. But yeah, need to pull the gas pedal out of inside. The RX-8, it is still in here. Still need to clean it, disgusting. So I need to pull out the old gas pedal that's down there. Of course, tuck up all the wiring too. Mount it and then see where I need to drill a hole through because obviously this car is fly-by-wire, not cable. So the hole will probably need to be somewhere in that area. A lot of people on the forums have it right here on the corner of that. So we'll see where it comes through. I believe I have plenty of cable to wrap around, go back and forth, S curve, mount it up on some of these pieces on the um, fuel rails, words. Yeah, so let's get to it. But as I'm working around here, I'm getting very tired of this prop rod. And when it was over here, had the carbon fiber hood sagging and when I took the prop rod off, it was still had a, some memory to it. So I put it in the middle, but I was actually uh, reached out to by a company. And let's see what we got. So this should help out with the situation. I was looking into a, uh, a few things like uh, struts, shocks, and then a company reached out to me randomly. I don't know if they got my information from me searching or whatever. But let's take a look at it. And uh, this, these were free too, by the way. I did not buy these. And they also said if everything went good with the uh, review, um, you could possibly send me a few sets to give away. So if you want something like this for free, comment down below. Remember to like the uh, the video and 
If I have some pretty good comments, I'll ship it over to them. I'll send them an email with the video and the comments. And see if I can get a few free sets for you guys and do a giveaway. Which would be awesome because I just hit a thousand subscribers. And I'll tell you what, if they don't give me any free ones, I might buy a set and give these away. So we have our instructions here. And it looks pretty simple. Alright, so the hood ones, it looks like we just unscrew a bolt out of each side. And there's a bracket we have to put on the hood side. Hmm. Yeah, well, these are for the... Alright, so I have them for the, the hood and the trunk. So it's a it's a set. I'm assuming the smaller ones are going to be for the trunk. Let's take a look at these. Oh, here are the brackets. I bet these go on the hood hinge side. That's all we had in the box. So, woohoo! Hey, hey. So they are uh, tanky dom. It looks like they are just struts with a little extension. And they said it's for this car. So we'll see how that works out. Yep, that just screws in. Yep, screws in right on the end, which it should swivel inside too. Okay, there's one. And it matches the wastegate. It's orange. Okay, let's get the other one out. Yep, same thing. Nothing else in there. Actually, there is. There is something else in there. Where's my knife? That ain't a knife. This is a knife. Obviously, it's a very dull knife. Hey, there we go. Okay, so they were in sleeves. Oops. Okay, bubble wrap. And here we go. Let's see if I can get it in the camera frame. All right, so don't try to compress them. So you loosen up, hey, it's the same hood hinge that's over here. This is for this car. Okay, so we have a, loosen up the top bolt, put in that to the side, it looks like. Make sure there's a washer on it. And the same thing, washer with that, goes right in the middle hole right here. Let's put them on. <clears throat> Alright, so let's follow the instructions. First, we are going to take off the bolt right here. And hopefully the big washer fits over it. Hey, okay, that works. And it looks like it's going to go toward the outside. So, is it this one? That's back, nope, nope, okay, so, got it like this, so it's going to go this toward the front, the snap part, and this going to the outside. So let's put this on. All right, problem number one. Oh, ha, okay, Never mind. It goes the other way. So the hump portion goes down. Destructions. There we go. So now we have this going on here. Hmm. Okay. Um, that looks really tight to the edge of the hood. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can unlatch it really close to the edge of the hood, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. Okay, now let's get the one right here off of the fender. Which, yeah, by the shock, yep. This looks super freaking long to be, okay, washer, this. Go ahead and get that on there. Hmm. 
kind of have my doubts already. So both of them are tight. And... I mean, it's not that much longer. That's what she said. I'm sorry, guys. I had to. So sorry. Okay, and let's snap it down. Will it snap down? Will you let me snap you down. Um, maybe it's only supposed to go on one side. Let's see. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so spacer side does go down here. And actually, I think I need to lift up the hood. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And see, that's not going up far enough though. Hmm. Already seeing a dilemma here. Unless it's only supposed to go up that far. Hmm. Ooh. Yep, this is sketch. Is it supposed to be the shorter one? I don't think so. No, that's not near long enough. That's what she said. What is going on here? Let me figure it out, guys. So we had one minor change. I went to the back bolt. That seems to be fine with the amount of engine bay room. And when I take the hood prop up, it's like, it's pretty, with just one, pretty bouncy. So let's put the other side on and let's see if it holds itself up. And here we have the moment of truth. They're both on. Let's lift up this and, ha! Look at that. Get rid of you, get rid of you, goodbye, whatever. I've got hood shocks. I mean, it's probably meant for the lighter aluminum hood. Sadly, these cars do have a lighter aluminum hood than carbon fiber, but it's holding itself up just fine. I mean, okay, so a few taps. Hmm, I wonder if the other angle would help out. I wonder if I switched it from the back to the front, but put the offset to the back instead of the front and so it would have the right length. I'm gonna try that real quick. So we have flipped the brackets back to the front, but instead of the nub being at the front, it's at the back. So top bolt out to the back, hump goes down this way. And I can tell you that this is a lot more sturdy. So you, you do compress it a little bit, it will start to fall. But once you get up most of the way, it's fine. So now I've got hood struts on the RX-8. And I don't have to worry about bumping into a freaking arm anymore. So now I can work on the throttle so much easier. And they do match the wastegate. So a little bit of orange going on. Everything seems fine. There's a little bit of a, I say looseness there, but I mean, it's not a whole bunch of play, but yeah, it works great. And yeah, it's gonna clear everything. That is amazing. Okay, now that I've figured it out for everybody on the way to install these, let me know if you, uh, Want to see if we can get some free ones from the company. I don't know how much they are on Amazon. I could probably put the link at the bottom if I remember to when I do the video, but yeah, I'm happy. Let's put the back ones on. Okay, so after doing the back, I've got one complaint that I'm going to uh, recommend for them. This awesome little notch that is in pretty much the OEM ones, which came off super easy. Which, they look good, and there's a, like it's, there's a, there's a lot of power behind these things, so way better than stock, or, I mean, mine could have been worn out, but these notches help out so much for getting in there to release the tab, 
the front does not have these. I don't know if it's because they're metal for being in a hot engine bay, but there's hardly anything to, like it's super hard to grab into there to take them off. So when I was swapping them left to right, it was a little bit of a pain. But now that everything is on, I mean, we're done. Look at that sexy rear end in there. Anyways, um, squirrel. Yeah, everything's on and I think I would give these a eight out of 10 ish, maybe 7.5 for instructions not being absolutely perfect for the orientation that it needs to be because with it all the way up forward, there's not enough pivot angle here and it binds on the mount. So yeah, instructions a little bit unclear. Hmm. Pain to get these snapped off if need be to switch them around. Could be a little bit more force or something with the angles on the front. But then again, I'm using a carbon fiber hood, not the aluminum one, which I don't have one inside the shop, but it was over here. But you can pick that thing up with your finger. So maybe this is just on me for having a carbon fiber hood that is twice as heavy as an aluminum hood. But yeah, that's where I'm at. And now we can get back to the throttle cable. As you can see, the throttle pedal is out and it actually does not differ too much. They weren't lying. So if I get the height lined up, it's about an inch higher. And there is some offset here I have to deal with. So I'm gonna have to make a bracket that goes down which I do have this up here from the LS RX-8 page. So a guy named Steven Diggs, D-I-G-G-E-S. Um, I haven't seen him post in a while, but he made some brackets like this. They're 50 bucks with the stud in it ready to go. I haven't messaged him. I'm just gonna make one because I have all the scrap metal down there on the ground. Um, but if you can't do what I do, this is freaking awesome. His product looks freaking awesome and it's powder coated. So if you want to buy one, definitely reach out to that dude. Cause he got a few posts on there. I haven't seen anything lately, but reach out. Um, pretty sure he wouldn't mind some extra money there. So I just need to make a bracket to bolt that on with a little bit of a offset there. Yeah. But I'm going to use metal, or metal, duh, everything is metal, aluminum, steel. I'm going to use steel so I can weld the stud to the backside and cut it off because it is flat on the firewall and I don't want to clearance anything on the inside. I'd rather it just be flat, welded, done. So bolt through here, nut on this side, and on the top mount will be another bolt and she'll be in. And once that's in, I can take out the, well, this throttle cable will be out. I can mark a hole, take it back off, drill the hole in the firewall, and yeah, then I'll need to bend this to. Sorry about that. My Harbor Freight compressor scares the heck out of me. Um, my apologies if that's loud for any uh, headphone users, but I need to get, my, get a torch refilled so I can bend this and get it where it needs to be to get all the slack out of it. And then I can see if this is gonna work or if I just need to mount it on the firewall. I don't know, we'll go from there. My torch is out, gotta buy one tomorrow. So yeah, to tomorrow. We had some goodies come in. So I got some intercooler pipe, got some lug nuts. Elbows for the intercooler pipe will be in on Wednesday of next week. I like how the red and gold looks down here. So yeah, very, very happy about this decision. And let's climb underneath the car. See if I don't hit my head on anything. And we've got a yoke. The yoke is on back here. And over here, I do have this yoke right in past the O-ring seal. So I felt it bump and moved it just a little bit more to get the backs and then measured that so I can see how much I can push it in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got the lever for the trans, but 
I realized the throw is completely different and also sad noises. I didn't realize there was another bushing supposed to be in here. So this shift linkage that I got is not even good. I mean, the bracket's good. It helps me out, but I think I'm just going to shift this over here to the side and do a hard linkage all the way over to right here, straight up. So here, down to the linkage, right here. Hopefully you can see that. So yeah, hard linkage would have been nice. Would have been nice. But I measured it from the center of the U-joints over and we'll go back over here to my wall as I hit myself. Ow. So what I came up with was 48 and three quarter measured off the back of the yoke. Then I fixed it to the, well, 48, the back of the yoke where I was pulling the tape measure from was three quarter to the center line. So the smallest distance would be 47 and a quarter and the longest distance pushing it in another half inch would be 47 and three quarter. So 47 and a half would be a really good size drive shaft. And look what we have here on eBay. It is a four inch tube, 065 wall thickness, rated for a thousand horsepower with 1350 joints. And look at that, boom, 47.5. Thank you, Sloppy Mechanics. Yeah, so just over 200 bucks, I'm gonna get this drive shaft coming. Yep. So we're about to have a car that can move under its own power soon, but I need to order a linkage setup. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yep, I have it on save for later. So here is a linkage kit that I'm going to get just straight push rod and yeah, 32 bucks and I'll have it next week. So I'm going to order the linkage, order the drive shaft. Let's keep working on this pedal. It's the whole video right here. So I need to get the pedal in Next video will be transmission linkage, cleaning up the intercooler piping, putting the drive shaft in, maybe change out the U-joints. We'll see from there. And putting it on its wheels, see if it moves. Well, I'll do some with all this wiring. And I realized I never changed out the spring, so that's a 14 PSI spring in there. I definitely need to change that before I get it going. But she's almost there. Almost there. So as I always go to squirrel off on things, uh, I guess this is a shifter and a throttle video. I've got the whole shifter apart right here. So there is a locating pin that goes through over here. Oh, let me get that. So this locating pin goes through. You have to get a circlip right there. Get the circlip off to get the pin out. Just put that right up there. And when it goes through, it's on this side normally. That way when this moves, it moves the shifter arm the proper way. When you rotate it around to use it on the other side, you cannot hook it up that way. So I have marked a spot, went all the way around, and I need to put it in the drill press and drill out another hole on this side so I can essentially flip it inside of the housing. Once that's flipped and bolted back down, this will be on the correct side for the transmission shifter to use the rod linkage that I got coming in. Yeah, um, all right, to get this apart, I mean, you have your four screws that go onto the actual floor. They're golden color. One of them's covered up by a wire nut or, or a, uh, a wire with a little holder that goes over the stud. Then you have these Loctited screws, which are very tough. They're all tens to get the housing apart. I didn't want to mess with the wiring at all. I'm kind of keeping everything in the same place. So I'm going to go over to the drill press, drill out this other hole, and put it back together and put it in the car. What I've done here to verify vertical is I put a drill bit 
into the existing hole and verify that it is straight up and down. And then I've got the mark there to where that goes straight to the middle of that mark. And we are going to drill a small pilot hole and then switch out to the correct size and finish it out. Let's drill it. We have a clean pilot hole, switching out the drill bits to the bigger one. Let's finish it off. If anybody's curious, the size hole that worked perfectly was 13 64ths. That is what made it go in really, really well in just a tiny, maybe one or two thousandths of wiggle room. This, you have to tap it in much better to get the C-clip on. Let's clean it off and put it in. Here it is on the flipped side. We have the retaining clip back on down here and everything is back to functional. Just the arm is flipped all the way around. Let's put it back together. Sorry everyone, the GoPro died, but we have the throttle cable in. I did mount it to the firewall side. That's where the hole is if anybody wants to know. And I just kind of tucked it up underneath to hold it in place and we'll go inside okay hopefully you guys can see this so there is the bracket that i made right behind the wrx pedal and we do have the cable sitting up at the top and it's how i mounted it right here i'll take it off real quick and give you a explanation of it all so I will show you this. I did have to get the grinder out and flatten out that spot right here. That way everything could go flush down. So with the pedal, I did have to bend it. You probably see it right there. I did have to bend this portion this way to clear where the carpet was hitting right over here. So I did have to bend it. And here is the bracket that I made. So. It was pointless to really clear into this. Once I ground out that piece, it was hollow, so I probably didn't even need to do that. But it goes on like so, and this hole goes through, bolts them both together. That one's already up top. Then you have a nut that goes on there, and that's the whole pedal assembly. Here it is welded on the back side, so it's nice and flush. It doesn't interfere with anything. Yeah, I just need to get some paint on it and final mount it in the car. Got her painted. Got to wait for it to dry. Final installation. Here she is. That's how it's oriented into the vehicle. Came out pretty good. Still a little tacky, but I don't care. It's going in. Mounted with final routing. Going down. Hopefully you can see right there, that's where it goes. Everything's hooked up in here. Go into the car and hopefully you can hear this from the camera, but full throttle, idle, full throttle, idle. It's hitting the stops and give me a shot down here. Hopefully you can see it. Plenty of room. Worked out mint. I need to tidy this stuff up and also have the shifter. Everything's working fine down here. I got the arm bent down there a little bit away from the uh, trans tunnel. It was hitting the side over here. And just need the rods to come in to hook up that part of the transmission linkage. But throttle is done so we'll call this one a wrap i'll work on a transmission video or transmission linkage video uh, maybe get some hoses ran and get this stuff cleaned up drive shaft is ordered and yeah we're almost there all right guys catch you later you, you mind repeating yourself stop recording it <laughs> all right full throttle let go Full throttle. Let go. Mint. Thank you, sir.